this talk's actually um, built from a talk that I gave last year on the late Luis Araneta, who was one of the major collectors in Manila after the war. And I want to talk about why people collect and what collectors should do afterwards. Why do people collect art? Uh, there are many reasons for it. And today, most of the reasons are because it is a good investment and it, you can make a lot of money on art. I bought because dun naman goy emotion that comes from getting art. No, so gawa sa mo ato ka gallery and then you see something that you like. You want there's some things that you want to see every day because every time you see it, there's an emotion that is generated. So kami, me and my sister, okay, we were both students of um, Sir Marvidal in the 80s. Um, we would really be exposed no to malang, kyoko, uh, magsaysayho as early as seven or eight years old. Yeah. What is my process? I like painting people, people I know and the experiences that I've experienced with those people. Like, there's a certain emotion when you meet somebody, there's a certain feeling it, and it strikes you. Even, even, even if it's bad, it's still beautiful. Ba? It's still beautiful to paint. Like, uh, and then through those emotions, I get ideas and then uh, ideas from anger, ideas from love, happiness, and it, it inspires me to paint. Ang painting, how to keep no? As I said, when I was very young, when I was young, no? My painting was very low in price and it's getting higher. And imagine, no? Uh, people nowadays are very keen to art, art no? Unlike sa una, nga, they don't care about art. Karon, they've been using it for investment at the same time. Just like the one I said two minutes ago, is changing to a car because he said to me, my karma is going to depreciate and your painting is getting higher. I would rather change, change my car to your painting. <laughs> 